Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Exotic Astrology. On 31st of March, Venus will enter its exaltation sign of Pisces. And Venus will be in Pisces till 25th of April. Very, very, very interesting conjunction because this planet is not just transiting. It is also, it will also be conjunct Rahu there, if you see. And there's another planet which will be conjunct. Can you write in the comments which planet yes you are right the planet sun of course but most important is mercury here why because mercury will be retrograde so if you see this chart mercury is at two degrees of aries on 31st and then after two days which is second of april mercury will be retrograde and he will be stationary for a couple of days and then gradually he will move back into the sign of Pisces from the sign of Aries. So this essentially means that uh, till 15th approx, uh, there will be the conjunction of Sun, Venus, Rahu, Mercury in the sign of Pisces. Very, very, very powerful conjunction. Almost half the horoscope, like four planets will be in the sign of Pisces and then from 20 uh, from 15th the sun will move into the sign of aries nearby around 15th and then uh, mercury uh, venus sorry will be uh, in the sign of taurus from uh, sorry aries uh, from 25th of april okay so the first 15 days there's this power massive powerful conjunction but then why are we discussing venus only because venus is the strongest planet in the sign in this sign of pisces why because venus is the only planet which is exalted among all the four planets okay and needless to say which is the weakest planet well of course uh, it's mercury because he's in debility now what does rahu do in pisces or how does rahu perform in pisces uh, well uh, again not the best how does the sun do in Pisces? Uh, not very bad, decent, because Pisces is a friendly sign. But nonetheless, Venus is the most powerful planet. And if you see, uh, this conjunction is very interesting because the dispositor of this sign, which is Jupiter, is in the second house from Pisces, which is Aries. And on 1st of May, Jupiter will go into the third house. But uh, from 1st of May, nonetheless, uh, these planets will also leave Pisces, okay? Except Rahu, of course. So, therefore, this transit of Venus is not just a mere uh, exaltation of Venus, okay? This is a very, very, very important transit because there are so many planets conjunct and the dispositor is also in second. And if you see 12th from Venus, what is going on? If you see 12th from Venus, we have Mars and Saturn, two natural malefics. Okay, very, very, very powerful chart. And it's like saying Jupiter is in the second and Mars and Saturn are in the 12th. So wherever the sign of Pisces is in your chart, you will feel uh, the push there. Okay, now how do you analyze this transit? Well, you have to understand how to start okay so for example you always have to check the ascendant so in this chart this is the first house ascendant is here in the sign of virgo now you have to check where are the in which houses are uh, taurus and libra falling so for example for a virgo ascendant where is libra libra is the second house because this is number seven and Taurus is the ninth house because here is number two. So that means the ninth lord and the second lord will undergo some uh, flavors related to uh, exhortation. Okay. But then the third thing which you need to check, which is very, very important, is where is the sign of Pisces in your chart? Okay. So for example, for Virgo Lagna, uh, this is in the seventh house, as you can see. So now the second Lord and the ninth Lord is transiting the seventh house in exaltation. So what does this mean? So you have to understand what is exaltation. 
people think exaltation is just good or some people say no it's not good it's bad actually okay so uh, if you just keep dangling in good bad good bad good bad uh, everything will appear very black and white okay and you won't be able to understand and moreover planets are uh, also getting influenced planets very easily get influenced by other planets okay so which means now venus is exalted but there is also rahu and sun and mercury there so the flavor will change okay so <clears throat> venus is a planet of love romance beauty arts creativity fun and uh, painting but he goes into the 12th house the 12th house is the house of absorption it's the subconscious mind it is you know subtle pleasures bad pleasures but if you see uh, 12th sign is the sign of pisces so the 12th house is the house of hidden pleasures bad pleasures and also spirituality it, it, it's a very it's a very uh, i mean it, it's bizarre <laughs> how <coughs> How the twelfth house is also the house of loss. Uh, it it shows you know losing your semen, but it also also shows uh, making spiritual progress for which controlling your semen is very essential. So the twelfth house has very contradictory traits. Okay, within itself. So now Venus when goes to the twelfth sign, then what happens is. Uh, venus learns to be detached so it's like saying venus obtains fulfillment of materialistic desires and then venus realizes uh, there's nothing more to be achieved or obtained and then venus understands that you have to get into spiritual uh, life you have to do spiritual practices without which you cannot be successful in venusian things which is you know getting happiness so it's like saying you enjoy to such an extent that you realize that uh, enjoying that was not the answer in the first place okay so when this transit occurs depending on the signs uh, the houses that venus rules as per your ascendant it could happen that you get a feeling of enjoying something related to that house but after 25th april you realize oh that was not the answer okay so for example uh, for virgo lagna uh, venus is the second lord so something to do with the family okay so some family event or some <coughs> marriage so if you are having dasha of the second house seventh house eleventh house you can also get married during this period <coughs> and the ninth house can show something like you know spirituality or long distance travel so you thought you will travel somewhere and that will make you happy but then at the end you realized uh, that did not make you happy now this is again very bizarre how can being unhappy mean exaltation yes this is something very interesting exaltation sign does not mean good it means awareness which means when a planet completes the transit of its exaltation sign then at the end so in this case for venus by 25th april you will realize you will become more aware about the planet and when do you get the highest level of awareness for a particular planet when you want something which you think will make you happy and you get it but then you are still not happy so you realize you were wrong all this way about this particular planet and then because pisces is the sign of spirituality you will move towards the divine realm okay but as i said this is not just a venus in pisces transit this is a transit where the sun is also involved now rahu is also involved mercury is also involved now what is sun and rahu conjunction sun and rahu conjunction is a conjunction which shows deep materialistic pursuits related to ego and identification and um, narcissism also to some extent so therefore the venusian traits regarding uh, the houses that venus rules 
could go for a toss and it could happen that you start to identify these things with yourself okay so wherever there is sun and rahu it is like you yourself so for example now here venus is uh, the ninth lord for this kundli and the second lord so the second lord as i said can show something related to the family but what could happen is there could be some issues in the family good or bad but that will impact you seriously because the sun is involved so you feel your own identity is at stake and because of that what happens is you understand that you have to uh, take a stand in this case okay so suppose there's some issue with your relatives or your family members you know and they say something to you now it won't be that you will just dismiss it because you will feel the pressure and then you will aim to take a solution which is uh, which at the end you realize will not be what you wished for is not actually the answer okay so therefore at the end you need to understand mercury is also conjunct here from uh, around maybe 5th i guess so that means from 5th uh, to 15th sun will also be there and from 15th onwards mercury and rahu will be there alone with venus so therefore when mercury is involved around after 4th or 5th or 6th april then it's a very interesting time to rethink on your plans and your desires so therefore if venus is transiting uh, in the sign of pisces and it is showing very good awareness it could happen that for the first week from 31st till 5th you are just flowing with the flow but then the moment mercury enters the sign of pisces it goes into debility which means now you are rethinking again mercury in pisces does not mean your intelligence is like uh, wasted or you don't have intelligence okay it can mean that you are thinking too much but here what is happening is because venus is present mercury is getting niche bhanga and because of niche bhanga the debility is getting cancelled which means you are thinking in the right direction and uh, the thinking is turning into uh, into serious introspection okay so there is a there are two things one is overthinking unnecessary useless uh, headless overthinking and the other is mindful meaningful introspection so when mercury is in pisces there could be overthinking but when venus is there that overthinking can turn into introspection which is great because that actually tries to tell us what is right what is wrong now when this conjunction is occurring after 5th 6th when mercury enters pisces you will now start to see the results gradually and because mercury's communication it's your brain okay so you are seeing it in your brain directly it's not just in your um, pleasure world it is also happening in the brain so this means that when this mark when mercury joins this you will see the illusions okay or rather should i say you will see your illusions are getting dispelled so from 6th to 25th april will be a very 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 important time because this is the time when you actually have to understand that it was not the answer and then from 6th onwards you can start making the necessary changes okay so for example uh, here venus is the second lord so <clears throat> maybe you thought you know uh, spending too much time with your family is a good idea i mean i'm just giving an example okay for virgo lagna if somebody is a virgo lagna it could happen that somebody from somebody from your family came to see you and you thought oh we'll have a good time a great time but then it didn't turn out to be like that because <clears throat> later on you realize that you were in a you were in a kind of illusion that i have a good compatibility with this person and then later on your expectations were not met that is what is venus in pisces you enjoy but then the expect the expectations are not met which, which is very bizarre because 
how can you enjoy if your expectations are not met so it's like saying you think you are enjoying but actually you are not which you realize very soon okay so therefore depending on your ascendant if there are some changes you need to understand that you have to um, renegotiate your expectations with yourself okay from sixth onwards and then when uh, gradually this conjunction comes after 15th till 25th the sun will leave okay so when the sun will leave things will start to uh, make sense and you will be less and less and less bothered but always remember the element of surprise will remain why well yes you guessed it right because of rahu okay so therefore please understand that this is a very 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 incredible transit to enjoy and to be frustrated and to introspect and see what went wrong okay so therefore if suppose venus is your 10th lord then very 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 important you you actually need to introspect and cross check and see what do you want in your profession for example you might get a promotion but then later on you realize oh this promotion didn't make me happy because that was not your goal okay your goal was something else but you thought getting this promotion will make me happy so your, your first step was wrong so that's how you come into a conclusion okay so therefore if you have a venus as your prominent kendra lord then please understand this is a very important transit a kendra lord is entering exaltation so it's time uh, to rethink and uh, ask yourself what will actually make you happy in this regard all right thank you so much for your patience and wish you all the best for this transit if you are new to the channel then please subscribe and hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and for consultations regarding your own horoscope you can go to my website down in the description section www.exoticastrology.in god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will surely find him thank you